problems come Christina up. Gillis has three children and a world of worry. Every single day, five days a week, I am out trying to find employment, trying to do something to provide for my kids. Gillis left a fundraiser position to give birth to eight-month-old Aiden. She says she's come to this employment center in Pawtucket, Rhode Island for months, but can't find a new job. But now I'm willing to do anything, housekeeping, flip burgers, whatever it takes. Rhode Island's unemployment rate has risen to 10 percent, second only to Michigan. At least 56,000 people here are looking for work. Once an industrial powerhouse, Rhode Island has been losing manufacturing jobs for years. But now the job losses cut across virtually every sector. We're seeing job losses in our construction sector, in retail, in our professional and business services sector. Rhode Island lost 22,000 jobs last year, and the state is rapidly running out of money for unemployment benefits. Come March or April, we will probably need to borrow money in order to shore up our unemployment insurance trust fund. 26-year-old Eliezer Mels is living off those unemployment checks while he looks for work. Like Gillis, Mels has three children, all girls. He's been jobless for a year. I was doing electrical work. The company hit a slump, and um, we just got laid off. After child support and rent, Mels says he has about $120 a month to pay for utilities, diapers, and groceries. If you take a look into my refrigerator, you'll see I have water, milk. Um, there were specials on this, so I grabbed it instead of like going for the one that I normally go for. I, I went for the sales, bread, eggs, just the basic needs. Sometimes it feels hopeless. Like I know there's jobs out there, but why isn't it working? The White House estimates President Obama's stimulus package would provide Rhode Island with 13,000 new jobs. Still a small answer to a growing need. Priya David, CBS News, Pawtucket, Rhode Island.